What's going on, y'all? It'll be Jay Carplay back with another video for y'all today, man. So today what I got for y'all is a 2020 Dodge Challenger GT. So if y'all know from my Charger video, my Charger GT video from the front, this one tricky as well. So let's get into it. The 2020 Dodge Challenger GT. GT. What? Uh, so I, you look at that thing. Hold on. Is that a V8? Is that, is, is that a scat pad? Is, nah, y'all, this is a V6. <laughs> like I said, in 2019, they started making the, the GTs with the scat pack hoods. So if y'all look at that, like I said, you look at the GT, if the GT wasn't there, you could be fooled. So just watch out for that, y'all. But nevertheless, that thing still look good and aggressive, y'all. Gonna come on around here. Y'all see the wheels on that thing. Mm -hmm. It's still nice, y'all. Don't get it wrong, V6, but it's nice. Let's look at what they got on here. Uh, let me show y'all. Got two 45, 45s, 45 ZR20s. So, two 45s, man. Keep coming along here. Y'all see, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice, yeah. Y'all see this one got the silver gas cap. I know a lot of people change that black. Come along the back. That's a nice little, this little spoiler, the same body, body color spoiler. While we back here, let's go and crank it up. Let's out here with the sound like. Let me take the key fob out. So just the key fob. Y'all see you got your unlock, your lock. You got your truck button, the remote start, which I'm gonna show y'all. In the panic, but the same, same as all, just by all Dodge keys. So hit that two times. Y'all see, this is it. That is a warm start too. But as like I said, it is a V6. I ain't no V8, so you don't get no crazy war. Keep coming on around the side. Got the same things on the other side, of course. That's a nice blue color. Nice, going back to the front. Oh, Hellcat! Oh, no, I just <laughs> oh, let's go inside, to the dog. inside. Y'all see, same just about all Dodge products. Press that, you lock it. It got a sensor in the handle. Put your hand under there, unlock it. We open it up. Two dope cool. Now, what did I say, y'all? What do I always say about the Dodge, y'all? If you got the club right here, you know you got the cloth seats. But back to the door. We got the regular window controls lock and unlock. You know what I'm saying? You got your, it's a leather padded armrest right here. That feels good. You got your door handle down here. You got a cubby, a um, cup holder. You got your little sound system right there, which is not, it's not an Alpine or anything like that. Just a basic sound system that's in here. Look at the cloth seats. As y'all can see, like I said, the seats itself, just the material is not bad. But the, these designs, I'm not too fond of, as y'all know, know. Not too fond of design, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not that bad where, you know, it's a deal breaker to buy a car, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm not too fond of it. So let's get in here. 6'6", six, six, 300 with the seat all the way. Close the door. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, y'all. We ain't trying to burn up. I don't want to agree. But y'all see, Dodge emblem on the steering wheel. You got your regular um, cruise control. Um, right here will be adaptive cruise control, but like I said, this one don't have it. Come right here. Um, you got your controls that can that control all that right there. You got the phone controls. Come up here, let me just show y'all the dash. That's a retro dash. Come over here. We got the seven inch Uconnect. Now, as y'all can see, might be the seven inch and ain't the 8.4 inch, but it's still nice. So, I don't know, so we start off right here. You got your radio, got your media, plug your phone or whatever. You got your climate controls. 
you got all your apps. There's an, oh, you got all your apps. Well, ain't too many, just one page. But you got your apps, hook your phone up, compass, and you got all your settings and everything. Down here, you got, so you got your mute button, hazard, screen off, sport mode. Y'all know we're gonna put that thing in sport when we drive it. You can turn off your backup parking sensors um, or turn them on. Uh, tra tra traction control, your regular climate control down here. You got your eight speed. Oh, hold on. You got your eight speed stick shift. I'm a uh, shifter. You got your little cupboard right here. You can put your key in. Two cup holders. Storage, you see, is not that wide or big, but it's, it's fairly, you know, deep. You know what I'm saying? You can plug your phone up or whatever right here. You got two USBs and the aux. Come along over here. You got your little compartment. You got the Challenger badging right there. On the vent. You got your regular old scene right here. Like I said, the bolstering on these, dog, I will keep saying that the bolstering on these is nice for me. At least I would say, you know what I'm saying? I snug in here even though it don't got a lot of power where you really need it, you know what I'm saying? But like, like I said, I do say a smaller guy, you know, you won't get that real tight bustering in these seats. But come over here, like I said, you still got your claws. Not the same thing as on the, the driver door, man. You got your cup holder right here, handle and everything. You go back here. Now, the back seating back here, uh, I ain't gonna try to get back there, y'all, because, I mean, me, I know I'm not gonna fit, but still, like, you had, um, you know what I'm saying? Like you had like a, a little child, your little son or something like that. They, they can fit back there, you know, not nobody. Like, I don't think a teenager better fit back there comfortably, but yeah, like, you know, a child or somebody that fit back there decent. But come up here, you got your sunglasses for the ladies, guys too. You come up here, you got your garage openers, you know, your regular lights. Um, your window, I mean, your, your, your mirror. And other than that, y'all, that's about it, so. Let's go check out that trunk button. We're gonna hit that truck button two times. Pop up, like I said, this one do not pop up. It don't pop up all the way like the charge do. You gotta lift it up yourself. But as you see, the space in here is very nice for coupe. Like I said, the marrow, my marrow, ain't no, you know, ain't no, it's not this wide, especially it's open. But take that back down. Let's go look at that beast. hood. Opening up that scat pack hood. <laughs> Y'all see, it ain't got no scat pack motor though. We got this 3.6 liter. Y'all can see, 305 horsepower. Now the GT, GT is also all wheel drive. So let me tell y'all that. GT is all wheel drive. So 305 horses, man. Gonna close that back down. Let's see how it moves. Yeah, the, sticker, the sticker halfway torn up, but y'all see they want 31 for this one. Let's show y'all what y'all can see. If y'all want to see that, y'all pause. Can you hear y'all? Oh. Like you saying about the challenger too, y'all. That when you go to reach for the seatbelt, like if it ain't on this, it got like a little hook right here. If it ain't on that hook, you had to reach all the way back there. So that's a little hassle, but like I said, it ain't nothing crazy though. But, you know, but that thing is dry. Hold on, let me do it. Let me down a little bit. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know we gotta put it in sport mode. It's 16 miles y'all, so I ain't gonna go crazy with it, but you know, we gonna, we gonna give it a little gas, so. Let's take off. Challenger. It is a Dodge, so y'all know what I say about the drive. It's smooth. <laughs> I said it's smooth, man. It's, I keep saying it. The Dodge is just, the Dodge is just some, they are some very smooth driving cars. They really are, man. They really are. They're some very smooth driving cars. Hold the paper down in the window, y'all, but we taking off in it, y'all. But 
I need this all the way There we go. So take it off in the man. Smooth. <laughs> I said a smooth ride. Hit it a little bit. That's still that that V6 Dodge. I mean that Dodge V6, y'all. You know, like I said, it ain't nothing crazy. But I'm saying, if you want to pass somebody, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You need to get somewhere. You know, it's faster than, than normal, you know, you can do it. And I will say this, when I see this, y'all, don't think I'm saying that this car is slow, because this car is not slow. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not the fastest thing, but it's not slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's faster than, you know what I'm saying, than a, you know, your regular Camry or your Nissan, also all this, like, bro, it's no, like, this, this is fast. Like I said, it's heavier, it is heavier. But like I said, just engine-wise, you know what I'm saying? So, so I said smooth ride, y'all. Smooth ride. Mm. This one do not have um this particular one. I don't got the blind spot monitor or anything like that. Or the, like I said, don't the adaptive adapt cruise control. So I said it's still nice. Get some little power. I'm gonna take a lift right here. I'm gonna turn this thing around. Counter the bumps well. You know what I'm saying? Take this little spin. Right so visibility. Um let me see. Visibility is not bad in here either. The back pillars are wide though i will say that they're all wide so for some people they might think it's not good visibility you know what i'm saying like i said it's not the best visibility but i still think it's good you know what i'm saying um as far as these mirrors though these mirrors are different so um you know that that kind of they're not small but you know what i'm saying like i said the mirrors are just different so it just gives you kind of different angle but like i said you can move you can move the mirror around and everything though to give you your best, um, you know, the best view that you need. But the mirrors are different, by the way, you know, they design. But other than that, y'all, yeah, it's a good drive, man. You know, like I said, it's a dog. So we're gonna head back to Cannon, and I'll see y'all when I get there. So there y'all go. That's the 2020 Dodge Challenger GT. Like I'm t keep telling y'all, man, don't be fooled. If y'all see a y'all see a Challenger like this. Even the Charger, but y'all see a Challenger like this with that hood, make sure y'all look at the front emblem and make sure y'all look on the side. If it don't have an emblem on the side, then it's most likely a V6 with that hood. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, like I said, it's still a nice all-wheel drive. You know what I'm saying? It still got that look. Like I said, you on a budget, hey, this is it right here, man. But all in all, right, man, shout out to Joy here at West Point, Mississippi. Cannon Dodge for let me review the car. This is a nice challenge, y'all. But I said once again, man, that's another one. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button when y'all do. Make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so you be notified every time I post. And uh, yeah, that's it for another one. ABJ Carplay out.